everyone, this is Brecker. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you guys another build video. This one is Striker. I just wanted to share this build with you guys because I have been using this build from more than a year now, I believe, uh, right after when Striker came out for the Division 2. Uh, I usually run this build solo, but I have tested this build in group setting as well and it works just as good. So I just wanted to share the template with you guys so if you guys are looking for a good striker build you could have an example a template to go from. So let's begin. Starting off with the specialization I'm using technician. Only two particular reasons actually, actually only one but uh, the main reason is that I am using the linked laser pointer, the attachment that the specialization gives you uh, on my police M4. That's my primary weapon for this spell. Uh, but also, you get an extra skill tier if you choose this specialization. For the primary weapons, uh, this new exotic St. Elmo's engine, it just came out recently. I was primarily using the police M4. From more than a year now because it works really really good uh, with this high RPM especially with striker and uh, also I'm fully uh, ranked up to proficiency rank 23 and that's why I've upgraded my police M4 and also my St. Elmo's engine to 23 rank uh, which gives you an additional 23 weapon damage in case you guys don't know so I have been using this police M4 uh, with the talent flatline and this is also the reason that I explained earlier that's why I'm using the attachment from the technician spec to pulse the enemies uh, and with that I was using Scorpio as a secondary but now that the St. Elmo's engine came out recently it works just as well so it doesn't matter whichever weapon you have in range uh, you can use that for the gear pieces, starting off with the mask, I'm using 4 piece striker, that's for the mask, uh, gloves, holster, and knee pads. Uh, I, I won't go over everything, uh, you know, uh, word by word to pour you, uh, but just to give you a given idea, that 2 piece uh, gives you 15% weapon handling and 15% beta fire. And then the 4 piece is where you get your damage from. That's 0.65% stacking up to 100 times. Uh, now if you do choose to uh, equip the chest piece for the striker or the backpack, this damage number will go high. But I'm not using any of those for this particular build. So moving on. You can see the gloves as well and using striker piece. Uh, crit chance on this one. For the holster, same thing, crit damage on this one. Same thing for the holster, uh, crit hit damage for this one. So for the backpack I'm using Memento, for obvious reasons. Uh, presently it's the best in slot backpack, which gives you a bunch of weapon damage, armor, skill efficiency, what have you. You can use uh, some other backpack, maybe Bugupo or Sheska with Vigilance, but that's only gonna give you 25% weapon damage and that too if you're not getting hit. So, but the, for this one, uh, not only do you get 30% weapon damage on full stacks, but also armor, 3% armor regen, and a bunch of skill efficiency. So, there is no other reason to, you know, skip this backpack for another one, especially for this build, uh, because it fits right in. So, that's for the backpack. And for the final piece for this build, that's the Fenris chest. I'm using obvious reasons uh, that's 10% uh, assault rifle uh, gear set bonus. All reds, as mentioned earlier, crit chance, crit damage. And for the talent, I'm using obliterate uh, that gives you 1% weapon damage for stack and stacks up to 25 times. Uh, now, with this particular build, it's all red and we have maxed out critical hit chance. Uh, so, stacking up this talent. Uh, takes only half a mag as per my testing. Now before I show you the skills that I'm using with this build, let me show you the stats real quick. 
Now with the, the exotic assault rifle, uh, St. Elmo's engine, I maxed out on crit chance and 113 crit damage. If I switch to my police M4, that's 45% crit chance and 98% crit damage. You can go higher with the crit chance if you switch around with a couple of attachments on your weapon. But that's personal preference. I feel like 45% on my police M4 is just enough and I crit more than enough uh, on 45% as well. But then again, that's personal preference. If you want to go higher, you can do that as well. Now coming to the skills. Uh, my first skill is with the assault turret. Uh, I'm not primarily using it for damage, but only for destruction, like a decoy. Uh, since it's a tier 2 turret, it uh, survives much longer than a normal one, and takes a lot of damage, and has a, a very high duration as well. So whenever I enter a room or start a fight, I just place it somewhere in the corner, and all the enemies are... Uh, you know, attracted towards it instead of me. But that's a very good skill to have for this particular bit, especially for solo plays. The second skill that I'm using, uh, since I do not usually play in cover most of the time, I keep running around, especially with the memento because I get armor regen. Uh, whenever, but I need to, I can just pull up my crusader shield, and that's a very good skill to have as well, especially for an assault rifle or any mid to close range uh, weapon types. Okay, so this is the build everyone. Uh, the final full template for you. Uh, if you have any questions about this one, you can let me know in the comment sections below. Uh, so, just try it out. It's just a template, go from here and uh, you can change around the pieces if you want. But this is the best solo striker build that I have been using. I have been testing it out in heroic and legendary difficulties and it works just as good. You're solo or in a group, doesn't matter. Uh, don't be fooled by the thought that you know if you're using a memento, you have to go solo because you have to pick up trophies by getting kills. That doesn't matter. I have been using it for more than a year now uh, with group settings and uh, you will be at 30 stacks in no time even if you're in a group so that's about it uh enjoy the gameplay and uh i will see you in the next one you've got your objective don't let anything stand in your way Serious trauma detected.